highlight a lot of the positive stuff that we do in particular. And I think that's as relevant today as it probably was about 100 years ago. And I know in the world, as we face so many different problems, it would do well sometimes to look in the past. And when you look at the Sikh story in particular, of self-sacrifice, and everything that Sikhs have been through, in terms of all the sort of invaders who came through northern India, the Sikh story is a particularly unique story as well. One of valor, courage, and always that Punjabi spirit of opening up your heart and being true to yourself. But as a politician, it's always a bit intimidating, I think, to give a speech in this particular room under the watchful gaze of the legendary Sir Winston Churchill. You know, those of us that are here today may not be able to match his rhetorical skills, but I like to think that he would approve of the reason that we're all gathered here at this moment. Because Sir Winston was no stranger to the incredible bravery and the dedication of Sikh soldiers. He actually fought alongside the Indian Army as a young man. And in fact, I learned that he nearly lost his own life while he was rescuing a wounded Sikh in 1897. Now, earlier this year, I had the privilege of visiting the Commonwealth War Cemetery in Kolkata. And I saw firsthand the immense pride that Indians have in the contribution that their soldiers made in both world wars. Not just by Sikhs, but by Muslims and Hindus too. The UK should be just as proud, and we should be grateful too. But too many people in this country still don't know about the huge debt that we owe those brave men from the subcontinent. When we think of the First World War and the heroes from that war, we often think of Albert Ball or Wilfred Owen or Douglas Haig. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yet for far too long, we have overlooked the equally important role that's been played by the 1.5 million Indian soldiers who travel thousands of miles to fight for a country that wasn't even their own. Not one of them was conscripted and more than 60,000 never returned home. The soldiers of the Indian Army were vital, not just in the First World War, but in the years before and after that war too. Churchill himself once remarked that the Second World War could not have been won without them. So I'm delighted that the UK Punjab Heritage Association is doing so much to ensure that we remember their courage and we honour their sacrifice. They gave their today that we may enjoy our tomorrow. And the scale of the Sikh contribution to this really does uh, bear laying in. Tens of thousands of soldiers. As the Secretary of State said, a population that made up just 2% of the Indian population at the time, yet contributed over 20% of the recruits to the Indian Army. And their contribution on the battlefield was legendary. Ypres, Flanders, the Somme, Gallipoli. These places and names, which have passed down through the years as defining battles of World War I, are arenas of brave Seek sacrifice. By the end of the war, around 130,000 Sikhs had seen active service. They fought on most of the war's major fronts, from the Somme to Gallipoli and across Africa. Over 138,000 Indian troops fought in Belgium and France, and many of them were Sikhs. More than one quarter of all those troops became casualty. Sikhs fought with great distinction in the freezing, mud-soaked battlefields of Europe and with equal distinction in the Middle East. In the ill-fated Gallipoli campaign, the 14th Sikh Regiment fought bravely but sustained very heavy losses. Many plaudits were showered on Sikh soldiers by the British and their allies, and rightly so. Their courage and record in battle is second to none, and we should all remember their courage with pride. 
they have set a high bar for all Sikhs, and we in succeeding generations must show that we are equal to that challenge. The contribution from the Empire was hugely critical in the early part of the war, and as you've heard, it remained so as Kitchener's People's Armies were raised and trained and needed a professional backbone against which to perform. But the trenches of Flanders could hardly have been further from India, and the method of war was as original as it was destructive. And it is to this alien environment that the men of the Punjab came and fought with such distinction some hundred years ago. In total, eight infantry and 13 cavalry regiments fought alongside their Commonwealth counterparts at major battles, as you've heard, such as Eat, La Base, Festivert, Luce, and of course the Somme. But awareness itself is ephemeral. It disappears very quickly. It's very difficult to sustain. But our work uh, seeks to leave a legacy, um, and that's in terms of education, in terms of knowledge, and then crucially in terms of resources for future generations. And that is at the heart of our notion of commemoration, to create a change in the collective memory of Britons, to recognize, acknowledge, and commemorate the role of India uh, in the World War.